Welcome to another episode of Bald Man Fishing. This time we're at the beach and we're here late afternoon in the northern beaches fishing a rising tide, overcast, feels a bit stormy, no wind, no weed, Just perfect conditions. Whether it's too perfect we'll find out. I've had a few inquiries already in my first cast. Uh, we're just using pillies on a ganged um, set of hooks, three gangs, little salted pilchards, and um, on a padded oster rig. So we've got a bit of a gutter had it starting to form here as we get a bit later. It might get dark by the time um, the fish sort of come on, so hopefully I'll get some footage. Um, but yeah, we've got a nice little gutter forming here. I'm even getting some inquiries right now. Just some little touches, so it seems promising for this afternoon into the night. The tide's not till 8 o'clock tonight and it gets dark probably by about 5.30, so we'll see how we go. But you can see a bit of a gutter okay, out there. It's sort of running out that way and surely right in here will start to become a bit deeper. And it comes out there with a bit of structure over the side there. We'll see how we go. Gear I use at the beach, I've gone through it before, but here's a bit of a refresher. This thing's a, an old reel, bulletproof. It's an Akuma Epi, Epics EB80. It's a, actually a bait runner. You get the flick there, and then it can run out. When I used to do a lot of drew fishing, you used to just sit it in that, pop the drag, and then when you wind, it engages. You might not have been able to see that as I push the but as you wind, it engages the reel. And, and sets to drag and sets to fish so when the jury takes it let it run for a little, little bit let them inhale the live bait so kuma ev80 it's called running about uh, 40 pound braid and then i've only got 20 pound leader um, to the set of gang hooks this rod here too is an oldie okay the bull i call it i don't even know actually what company makes it we just call it a bull a, what is it a two piece of medium action six to twelve kilo okay it's pretty heavy it's pretty long okay it's about nearly seven foot okay it's uh 3.6 meters well more than seven foot sorry 12 foot um but that's the setup pretty simple it's worked for me for many many years um and does the job for me on the sands it can handle the sand salt water rocks whatever i i throw it on so hopefully we'll get some footage tonight for this Arvo. Again, look how beautiful. Okay, I love it when it's like this. There's a lot of humidity in the air. Hopefully a drop in air pressure. Hopefully not an electrical storm. Um, but awesome conditions. Not many people down here at the beach, just a couple of surfers. Alrighty. Hopefully we can get some footage of some fish. Old man fishing. The bait I'm using, I have to go to BCF these days to get my bait. Thanks, I went at, at um, BCF there at Marsden Park, hit me out with some uh, salted pilchards. They are tiny, um, but at least I know they're not going to come off. Um, but here they are, very small. <laughs> um, but for the size hooks, I can get them on. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this, but. Hopefully you can see this. Now I put them on. That's the pilly. I'll measure it up. The the last one with the eye and the hook and the third hook there. Hopefully you might be able to see that. Measure that up there, so I know where the first hook's going to go in there. And turn that around. So I put the first hook where I measured. Straight through the pilly, through the belly. Try to get through the spine, and the last one should then come through the eyes. Just like that. They're actually a nice size pilly for these hooks. Can't miss it, the fish, can they? Hopefully not.
All right, now's prime time for my first bite that I'm anticipating. I just had a oh, inquiry now. Just had an inquiry again. Normally as it starts to the, the, the light changing, so it starts to go into dust, changing into the dark. And then the next one will be when the coming into high tide. Just had a couple of inquiries, so we'll see how we go at the moment. Just can't land the hooks. I've been getting busted, not busted off, I've been getting bitten all the time and never landing these these fish and I couldn't work it out. And now I've worked out what I got here. Little trevally off the beach here. There you go. I've been biting the last hour and I haven't been able to hook one. So I might swap over to a um, single hook. See if I can hook a few more. And let him go, that. All through dusk, they were biting. I couldn't land one. I couldn't work it out. I was just about to put a single hook on, and I paused as I as I was bringing it in, and I hooked this guy. All right, so we'll let him go. And this next wave. Whoa. see at all it's pretty dark now it's light on oh, I'm just gonna change it I had the hook out ready to go um, so I might change it over and see if I have any better luck using a single hook alrighty so that was a different species I don't know if you can see anything but uh, you hopefully you can hear me I've caught a lot of species off this beach uh, Trevally is the first that's the first time I've caught Trevally let's just say that um, at this spot here, usually tailor, salmon, flatties, brim, um, sharks, or, or bronze whalers, all sorts of things, stingrays, but that's shovel noses, but trevally, that's the first time off this beach, and it's been busting my gut for about the last hour why I can't hook these things, and always a little bit complacent, oh, I just leave the trebles and not go to, I've only got one rod here tonight, sometimes I'll just do a single hook on the on the other rod, um, but today, tonight, I hooked one with the treble, now I've got a single hook, so let's see if that makes a difference. All right, see how we go. So that's it there, just a half hitch on a single hook, just a half hitch at the, at the tail, top of the tail there, just to hold the bait on. I just got busted off again, so I don't know if there's a mixture of something else in, with these fish. Uh, all right, here's a little bit of bycatch. Uh, this is a stingray. I don't know if I can do everything at once here. The uh, flies. There we go. Alrighty, I don't know if you can see that guy there. He's camouflaged in the sand a bit. Hey, Bob man needs to invest in some better lights. Alright, just got a little sting right here. Just gonna sneak him back. Gone. Another one here, I don't know what you can see, but um, they do give a good fight in the surf. <laughs> We're having a good little session here. I wish I could, ha I had brighter light to, to show you, and it's only going to get better, I reckon. If these Trevally here, surely there's going to be something else coming. I've got the light as, as bright as I can. Maybe having the reel you can look at, but you can hear me. Um, but these trevally are coming in now, about 30 to 40 centimetres, some of them. 
Um, and surely there'll be something bigger. If I had, a bit silly, I'd only come down with 20 pound liter. If I had something a bit, a bit stronger, I might even have thrown one out with a hook on another ride. You never know what you can get. Alrighty. Bit hard to see, hopefully you can hear me. Anyway, there's my light, it's me. Okay, a nice trevally, which is about 40 centimetres. We'll take them back out and surf, hopefully not with my phone. <laughs> Trevally. Good size to them, about 40 centimetres. A good fight in the, in the surf. Get some water here so we can throw this guy back. Off he goes. Well, there's another one. They're nice size, probably about 40 centimetres. It's hard to see in the dark. There you go, and that's on the single hook now. I wish you could see these fight during the day. <laughs> they actually uh, fight really well in the um, in the surf. Um, I don't know what you can see because of my light on my head. Um, if you can see me at all, but yeah, they're nice fight to fish for the surf. I give them that. Um, looks like there's plenty of them in there. Alrighty. Welcome to my party, we're just getting started. A life is a dream or a nightmare starring. Hand me a drink, cause I think I'm going all in. Get me a shrink, who can catch me 